Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and also welcome back to part two of the video. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link in the description below. In part one, I go through the design portion of this little project. And in this video, I'm going to be going through how I mark up the structural drawing. Again, like the first part, I'm going to be leaving this video at two times speed. So if you get bored, feel free to scrub around the video. It's really important that after you've actually done your calculations and your design, that you make sure the design is transferred onto the drawing. On bigger projects where you won't be doing the drawing work yourself, you will be doing markups for your draftsman or your technician. So being able to do a really clear and concise markup is really, really important and to make sure that you've got the right information from your calculations or your design onto that markup so that your technician or your draftsman can draw it up properly. Ultimately, it's the information on your drawings which get costed and built. It's not actually the calculations which people will look at, which makes it doubly important that you get the information correct on your drawings. Making sure that you highlight your assumptions on your drawings is also really, really important. For instance here, this is the direction of the existing first floor joist which I've assumed in my design. And if they find out that once they start removing some ceiling panels that the span direction is in the other direction, I'm going to need to know that. So I noticed that when I compare the existing to the proposed drawings that they're actually enlarging some of the existing windows and doorways. So I'm going to need to do an additional bit of calculations to check what kind of new lintel they're going to need to use to be able to support the new window largening. It's going to be a very very similar design to when I checked the precast concrete lintel in the first part of this video. The only difference is that we're supporting a cavity wall. Now we could specify two concrete lintels, but it's far easier to install a cavity lintel instead, which supports both leaves. I check the ground floor and the first floor openings because the loading conditions are going to be slightly different. And just by inspection I can't tell exactly which one is going to be the worst case, which is why I'm checking them both. 
and it works out that both ground floor and first floor openings with a max opening length of 1.8 meters can use the same standard duty cavity lintel. And once again, I make sure that I transfer this design information onto my drawing or my markup. It's also a good idea to add a detail to if it's going to enhance the information that you've already got and make it a little bit clearer for the reader. I'm using concepts on my iPad and I had actually pre-drawn a iBeam section which is saved in the app so I can use it on any drawing I want really really easily to save me some time. It's always good to make sure that you add some notes to the side of your drawing. The notes are there essentially to cover your back or to act as a bit of protection and it makes sure that you're not taking responsibility for things which you weren't signed up to do such as temporary works design. In the absence of a structural specification this is a good place to put your steel grades or your concrete strengths.
And that wraps up this little project. It's a good idea just to double check through your design and your calculations to make sure that everything which you've calculated is transferred onto your drawings. And before you issue it to the client, it's really, really important that you self-check your work or you get your work reviewed by someone else. Mistakes in the structural engineering can be fatal, so it's really, really important that you get your work checked, no matter how experienced you are. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this two-part video. If you've liked it, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.